Little Jack Horton here, did you miss me? Ah, Tom was talking about all that slow moving heroin jazz. That South Central sound, well what about gospel? West Coast style gospel, you know? Let me tell you a little story. In 1951, they used to have what they called the Great Hollywood Parking Lot Weekend Revival. Swap meets for Jesus, really. They put up two big old worn out carny tents at either end of a giant park lot, see? Like one time they might use Hollywood Park, another time Griffith Park, Santa Anita, Fairgrounds, something like this. One tent was for the Negro races, blacks of all kinds, uh, really. The other end was for the white people, you know? And they'd set them up and the choirs would go in there and the preachers would start, Holy God, let the music begin. Begin the goddamn Jesus begin, I tell you. The choirs would start screaming and the holy rollers would start rolling on the ground and it was black gospel, wailing on one end of heaven and white on the other and the whites really didn't have a chance because the blacks were really full with the blood of the Redeemer and their music was really top notch. Whites couldn't cut it. So they began to resort to tricks, you know, uh, the West Coast fanatical tradition of white people going back all the way to people like Amy Semple McPherson and such. Hucksters, con men, religious grifters, scammers, flim flammers, so all the same. It's a carnival, it's just a religious carnival, really. Most of these evangelists and singers were really people who sold fuller brushes to housewives during the week or, or Helms Donuts or something like that. The whites could not compete with that black music out in those parking lots. Uh, all both tents were run by the same group of religious people just watching uh, the musics compete. So to compete really against the blacks, the whites started using carnival stunts like Amy Semple McPherson having herself kidnapped and one day they brought in a, an elephant with an evangelist preaching on top and then blacks at the other end of the parking lot were laughing their asses off because they didn't need tricks, they had the music. Well, 1951, the whites start pulling this stunt called World's Smallest Voice of God, a little person, a, a guy I know named Fred, uh, or Roy Weller was his name, Roy Weller. And I'd known him from the circus. Well, uh, Roy was the world's smallest voice of God, but he had some problems, of course, with booze and running off with white sisters. Ran off with a normal-sized white woman to Tijuana and never came back. Well, he was doing well at the carnival, so they hired me to impersonate him. They figured one little guy looked the same as another little guy, which, of course, is prejudice up, you know, right up the butt. Anyway, they made me memorize a goddamn speech of Roy's, and, and I had to wear these little gospel robes, choir robes, really. And uh, they had a few shills and cripples out there I was supposed to heal, roll on the ground. And Roy's gospel suit smelled like wine, because he was a bad wino. I got sick and drunk, and I read the speech, but I went off, went off my head. I was just 16 or 70, but I told them their black god at the other end of the parking lot was better than their white god, because the music was better. Well, the rednecks wanted to lynch me with a little rope. To hear that coming from a, a little person, man, I'll tell you, I know what prejudice is like. God damn it. They were chasing me around that tent. I was saying, their God's better than your God, brother. And that's the trouble with the whole goddamn world, really, I think, is this my God is better than your God routine that we put on each other, you know? Middle East, Pakistan, Bosnia, Islam, Korans, Bibles, Jews, Catholics. My God is better than your God. That's a bunch of bullshit, really, in the end. I saw it over there in the swap meet parking lots of Jesus, I'll tell you that. And I've had this goddamn persecution against little people, too. I know what it's like to feel inferior. So people pick up weapons, goddammit. No politician's ever going to solve this shit. The tribes of God fight each other. Wow, whoa, netty. Little Jack Horton, people hate each other, brother, that's it. Religion is a disease and a weapon. But oh man, that black music wailing out of those parking lots. Enough, this is Little Jack here with the gospel of the swap meet Jesus. Thank you.